okay uh, we will discuss uh, some more very important problems which is based on the stress concentration okay the given problem determine the safe load that can be carried by a rectangular cross section in the figure okay here we need to we need to determine the safe load we need to determine the safe load that can be carried by a rectangular cross section as shown in figure the limiting the maximum stresses of limiting the maximum stresses of 130 newton per mm square limiting the maximum stresses of 130 newton per mm square okay so this is a limiting the maximum stresses should be sigma maximum is equal to 130 newton per mm square taking the stress concentration into an account okay taking the stress concentration into an account okay this is what we need to okay find out okay we need to find out the load uh, that can be carried by a rectangular cross section okay so this is a rectangular cross section okay we have the rectangular cross section okay which is having a di okay hole which of a diameter 10 mm and there is a notch okay the radius of the notch is 5 mm okay so what we need to find out we need to find out the load we need to find out the safe load that can be carried by a rectangular notch safe load that can be carried by a rectangular notch here what we need to find out okay we need to find out we need to find out load at circular hole we need to find out load at circular hole okay this is a first case okay here we need to find out the load at circular hole and second one we need to find out load at load at notch here okay we need to find out the load at circular hole as well as load at notch okay this is what we need to find out in this problem okay for the given rectangular cross section okay now you consider now okay before going to that first let us note down the given data okay let us note down the given data here we have a maximum stresses which is limiting sigma max sigma max is equal to how much 130 newton per mm square also thickness of the plate is 10 mm okay that we will see later okay now first you consider consider load at circular hole load at circular hole okay this is the first case okay here okay if you consider that i'll just draw the figure which is uh, subjected to load at a circular hole this is the rectangular cross section okay which is having a hole diameter of the hole is 10 mm diameter of the hole is 10 mm and width of the plate is 50 mm okay 50 mm and which is subjected to an axial load called p an axial load called p okay here what we need to do okay we need to find out the d by w ratio okay with respect to okay width we have w is equal to 50 and d diameter of the hole is 10 mm okay from okay here what we need to do from okay figure number 4.5 figure number 4.5 refer design data handbook refer design data handbook for d by w ratio for d by w ratio okay here what is the value for d which is 10 what is the w would it should be 50 if you simplify this we will get 0.2 okay if you simplify this we will get 0.2 okay now with respect to this value 
okay by using d by w value what we need to do we need to find out the k sigma that is called stress concentration k sigma we need to find out now i will show you how to find out the stress concentration okay from the design data handbook okay from the figure 4.5 okay from the figure 4.5 i will show you how to find out the k sigma theoretical stress concentration factor okay carefully observe here okay so this is the design data handbook volume 1 okay design data handbook volume 1 okay new design data handbook now what is the d by w okay so d by w is 0.2 okay d by w is 0.42 this is a figure number 4.5 okay the page number 4.6 in the design data handbook the figure number 4.5 okay in x axis we have d by w ratio and y axis we have k sigma okay the stress concentration factor okay the figure is subjected to okay a plate with a hole a plate with a hole okay you see here this is the d by w is d by w is 0.2 now okay you do one thing okay here you just draw one line you just draw one line from here to here you just draw one line next okay from here what you need to do you need to draw one line where exactly okay the line which is intersecting to this curve okay you just from here you just draw one line okay so initially it was 2.4 then which is almost which is equal, okay nearer to 2.5 okay i will consider it should be okay it's almost like 2.41 42 43 45 okay and 2.51 2.51 so this is the method which is used to measure the theoretical stress concentration factor okay with respect to plate with a hole okay by using d by w ratio okay i will repeat this once again okay if we find out d by w ratio with respect to this figure we will get 0.2 for 0.2 okay take a scale you just draw one line you just draw one line exactly which is coincide to this curve and then you draw one more line okay with respect to this okay and you will find the you will get the theoretical stress concentration factor you will get the theoretical stress concentration factor okay that is theoretical stress concentration factor that is k sigma is equal to 2.51 k sigma is equal to 2.51 okay as we all know that for axial load for axial load sigma nominal is equal to p by a or f by a okay here we have p they have given in the problem okay the notation should be p okay so we know the area okay where a is equal to p divided by p divided by w minus d into h okay so we don't know the value for p p should be remain same what is the value for w 50 minus okay 50 minus what is the value for d diameter of the hole 10 and what is the thickness should be 10 okay and we know that okay we know that if you simplify this you will get 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 p 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 into p okay then what we need to do okay you need to simplify the stress concentration what is the formula which is used to find stress concentration sigma maximum divided by sigma nominal okay so here in the problem itself they have given the value for sigma maximum that is equal to we know the stress concentration okay 2.51 is equal to sigma maximum which is 130 divided by 130 divided by what is the nominal stresses 2.5 into 10 to the power 3 minus 3 p okay 
so if you simplify this p is equal to p is equal to 20.7 kilo newton 20.7 kilo newton okay this is the load which is subjected to hole circular hole this is the load which is subjected to a circular hole okay the load should be 20.7 kilo newton 20.7 kilo newton okay next what you need to do you need to find out okay one more very you need to consider very important notation okay again here the load at notch we need to find out the load at the load at, at notch okay for that what you need to do okay you need to draw you need to redraw the sketch okay this is a given figure this is a given figure we have r5 what is the width should be 50 and we don't know this d we need to find out the load load at notch okay from the geometry as we all know that d is equal to 50 okay capital d is equal to we don't know and r is equal to 5 okay from the geometry what is the formula we can use to find out the diameter small d is equal to capital d minus 2r okay so capital d 50 into 2 times of 5 we will get 40 mm small d is equal to 40 mm small d is equal to 40 mm okay now now from from figure 4.22a from figure 4.22a refer refer design data handbook design data handbook for r by d as well as d by d ratio okay r by d as well as d by d ratio what is the r which is 5 what is the small d 40 you will get 0 0.125 what is the capital d 50 what is the small d 40 you will get 1.25 if you simplify these two we will get 1.25 then by using figure okay 4 point by using figure 4 point okay 2 to a i will show you how to find out the stress concentration factor by using figure for 4.2 a we need to find out the stress concentration factor 4.22 a i will show you how to find out this is a design data handbook okay i will show you how to find out the figure 4.22 a 4.22 a okay now you see here okay this is a figure 4.22a you just observe this is the nature of the problem we have okay you can see that this is the nature of the problem we have okay now i will show you how to find out that okay in x axis we have r by d okay here what we have w by d okay here in this is a w b w d by d lines okay w d by d lines okay that is uh, uh, we will w or d whatever it may be both are same in this case okay so if you take a scale and pencil okay if you take scale and pencil what is the r by d r by d is 0 0.125 0 0.125 0 0.125 somewhere here okay somewhere here i will get what is the d by d d by d is uh, 1.25 okay so here we don't have 1.25 line okay in between this uh, we will take one line okay so if if 0 0.125 if I, we will add 
if we will write we will extend one line here up to here in between these two 1.2 and 1.5 okay you just draw one line and both okay this line and this line will intersect in this particular portion and okay so here 2.2 we have okay so if you if you uh, take a number of divisions or you can directly consider this as 2.25 okay 2.25 2.2 2.3 2.4 2.25 2.5 okay likewise also you can consider okay so 2.25 okay this is how you can find out the stress concentration factor k sigma is equal to 2.25 okay so, uh, similarly we know that nominal stresses is equal to f by a okay so that is equal to p divided by or p by a or f by a that is equal to a is equal to h into d okay if you simplify that p divided by what is the value for h 10 into small d 40 okay and we don't know the nominal stresses how to find out that nominal stresses sigma max is equal to k, k sigma is equal to sigma max divided by sigma nominal okay we know the value for nominal k sigma that is 2.25 2.25 is equal to 2.25 is equal to 2.25 is equal to what is the maximum stresses 130 divided by sigma nominal sigma nominal okay so here if you simplify this we will get 2.5 into 10 to the power 3 p okay so here what you need to do okay sigma nominal you need to substitute that okay so 2.25 is equal to 130 divided by 2.5 into 10 to the power 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 p okay if you simplify that you will get p is equal to 23.6 kilonewton P is equal to 26 23.6 kilonewton okay so here hence hence the safe stress safe load safe load that can be that can be carried by the bar that can be carried by the bar is equal to 20.72 kilo newton 20.72 kilo newton this is the safe load safe load that can be carried by the bar is 20.72 kilo newton which is subjected to circular hole which is subjected to circular hole okay so this is the given problem okay